It's time to explore this world. What's going on guys? CG Psych here and we're back here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition to explore our Let's Play world. And we are starting off in the first build of this world. Yeah, this was the first uh first building that I built in this world, and this is my starter house. Um it's kind of an interesting kind of design with the with the roof design, because it's kind of staggered and like in two pieces, sort of. Like there's I just kind of built out a block and then this is pushed in a block, so it kind of gives the roof a little different look and feel. And I kinda this is like one of the first First times I've actually really dabbled in the use of jungle wood really but I didn't really use like a whole lot of it it was just like sporadic pieces pretty much and like in the wall and in the roof here so this is nothing too crazy and we are going to follow this path to our next build in this world yeah and this path leads to our cave base so there's two different parts of this base yeah we're gonna start kind of here um, we're not gonna go all completely down because this leads all the way down to bedrock level like negative 50 or whatever this is this is my strip mine. We're not. I'm, I'm not gonna go all the way down because it's nothing really special, really. Yeah, I really enjoy how I made the exterior of this, like with the like, make it look a little earthy, pretty much, with a bunch of like terraforming incorporated into it. I just, I just thought this looked really, really cool. Um, I've never really built anything quite like this, and I think I'm going to continue building like this. Yeah, hopping up here, we get into the main part of this base, and this is where like my bed and stuff like that. Um, this is mainly like a like a starter base, really, or at least what I consider a starter base, because it really just has you know, a place to ho hold my bed and then my storage system that I've been kind of kind of using along with my dog Astro here. Yeah, and the uh, the design for this base, like the interior of this base, kind of goes along with like what I did with the exterior, keeping like an earthy, like an earthy terraform feel pretty much with like, like I built into, built into this cave pretty much. And going over to here, we just have my furnace area that I've been using throughout this entire uh, let's play pretty much. Um, I don't have any blast furnaces for some reason, but I'm probably going to eventually switch these over to like half you know black furnaces blast furnaces and smokers pretty much but yeah but that's pretty much it for this starter base i actually covered up like the rest of the cave here because the yeah, like right here just actually goes further down into a massive cave but i didn't really want to make like a massive like starter base pretty much so i just kind of you know blocked that off because there wasn't really anything interesting down there yeah, and then coming down from my starter base we, we are going to head into my enchanting area which is into uh this cave here yeah we kind of just like swim into here all the way into my enchantment setup. Yeah, as, as you guys can see, I've done a lot of like terraforming in this in this uh, Let's Play series so far. I've just been really enjoying how this looks pretty much, like just uh, the feel and aesthetic of, you know, kind of terraforming caves pretty much into into this. And then, you know, we got, you know, got the enchantment set up here um, with some lapis here, and, you know, obviously the enchantment table. Yeah, and we're pretty much done in this area. So now we're going to head in this direction to the main place that we've been building so far yeah so i've done a good amount of work in this area um as you guys can see i've done a, done some work over there with a few buildings and then i also made this tower here out of like an earthy kind of look over here but so we're going to check this out here real quick so this tower is pretty much like my base of operations for this area pretty much um and also it kind of it actually houses a villager breeder um right here it's a very simple uh, villager breeder um i haven't really done anything with any of these villagers yet because i'm still working on uh the place that's going to house them yeah it's a very very simple uh villager breeder i you know i did an episode on this uh, a few episodes ago um it's very simple it doesn't really involve any like redstone i think the most redstone this really involves is you know just buttons pretty much and levers and dispensers and that's pretty much it and the way that i actually brought these villagers over is that i actually um uh, carved out uh, this this uh, waterway here. Um, this was all land here and because there's a village that's directly this way and I wanted to like give myself like a, a condition to bring the villagers over to uh, this location here. So I just, you know, you know, just decided to just kind of carve this out. And I thought this looks really, really cool. Uh, this took a good amount of time, not only just like carving, carving this out, but along with, you know, terraforming and, you know, in this, uh, putting all this detail into the sides here. And since it is getting dark, we should start heading into the tower here so we can sleep. And, and I also uh, made, the, actually made this entire cave. This this cave is was made completely by hand, like everything with this, you know, water and then this area here and then you know this leads to my nether portal uh, we are not going to talk about what happened in the uh, in the nether uh, and if you guys saw my last episode I kind of died and lost all my 
all my stuff. As you guys can see that I have some, I mostly have iron stuff here. That's because I went, I decided to finally go into the nether and I'm probably not going to go into the nether for a little bit at least, at least, or at least until I, you know, armor up a bit better. Yeah, there's not too much to this tower. It's just, you know, a place for, you know, storing stuff and, you know, smelting stuff and to sleep. And I also have a second story here that has more chests pretty much. And yeah, the way that I get out of this tower is I just pretty much, you know, hit this trap door, hit it back, and just jump into this uh, this little pond thing that I made. Um, and I actually planted all of these trees here because it was all like planes and I kind of wanted to, you know, signify a divide between this tower here and my custom village that I've started here. Yeah, I started this custom village with this little uh, mining outpost pretty much. Um, yeah, because at first it was just like an opening, like a small opening to a cave there that I'm going to kind of show you guys, show you guys in a minute. Um, but I completely like, you know, terraformed the entire entrance to the cave pretty much. And I also made this little rail system that kind of leads to uh, that building there that I called the, like the foreman's, foreman's house pretty much. And so coming up to here pretty much, we have a couple of barrack buildings for that house like the miners and stuff like that to go into the mine to get whatever you know resources are in there um and i also you know had a little you know furnace area kind of kitchen area for the for the miners and then a couple beds um these like both of these barracks are kind of similar as you guys can see i kind of wanted to um you know have this kind of be underground a little bit um the real only real difference with this is um well i haven't really put any beds in here yet um this is also like another storage area that i've been kind of kind of using then it also has a little furnace area and then continuing up this path we go up to the foreman's uh foreman's house um i haven't done too too much um interior work in this in this uh building um because i plan because this is like the foreman's like office pretty much and then um over here i was planning on making like a like kind of like a sorting system for um all the ores pretty much because this real system you know leads from the from the uh, from the cave there so i kind of thought it would be kind of cool to kind of do a little sorting little sorting system for all the ores and then going up to here we we lead into the foreman's uh the foreman's room uh nothing too special yet i'm gonna do you know once i get back into uh this world um i'm going to you know kind of fix up and finish up these interiors yeah before we get into the village i'm going to show you guys the like the, at least the entrance of the cave real quick um, i haven't done too much yet um, I'm, I'm planning on, you know, completely like overhauling this cave pretty much, but I have started this, uh, this path, um, that leads all the way down to the cave. Like, it's, it's not gonna, like, you know, the path isn't just gonna look like this. I'm going to, you know, eventually, you know, actually put like an actual, like, path pretty much and like, with like padding blocks and, you know, planks and stuff to kind of signify that the villagers have been you know, using this path down here to make it all the way down to this cave here. And then, you know, I'm also gonna, you know, probably add a crane somewhere, probably, you know, make a, like a platform where a crane's kind of pulling stuff up pretty much to send over to that rail system and, you know, send it off to, send it off to wherever pretty much. Yeah, and the next area that we're gonna be looking at is my village. Yeah, the village is still in a work in progress state pretty much, as you guys can see. I haven't finished the wall yet, but I have pretty much finished up the entrance of this village. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with how this village turned out, is turning out so far. You know, especially this entrance. I haven't really made anything quite like this. Um, and then as you guys can see, I have a little, like, drawbridge sort of thing with, you know, you know, a little quarry thing that I kind of terraformed pretty much along, and I also, you know, terraformed a bit more of that. Um, I still have to finish terraforming down here, because as you guys can see, it's still stone, and I want to add in, you know, deep slate and tough pretty much, along with some you know slabs and stuff like that um you know I've, I've started doing it like as you guys can see i just gotta you know kind of wrap it around pretty much and you guys can, as you guys can see i have a couple buildings already pretty much done here um we are going to check out this building here um this building is pretty much the shepherd's building as you guys can see which is signified by all these sheep and i kind of try to uh kind of make each roof design kind of kind of similar but but different in its own way just you know kind of give it just so all the buildings don't look the same, but all, but but they all at least follow the same style, if that makes any sense. And yet again, I haven't done too too much with the with the interior yet. You know, there's just a a single chest here and then a bed, and there's nothing else. Um, but that's gonna change 
um, later on in this series. And then making, making our way over to this building is our blacksmith building. Um, I made this uh, a couple episodes ago. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, I kind of made a little forge thing that, you know, leads through uh, the roof into, you know, like that smoky, that smoky thing. And then I have like a little water things like to quench, you know, sort of blacksmith can quench uh, whatever he's making. And then we have a uh, uh, what you want to call it, a anvil here, and then a little workstation with a crafting table. And then I plan on making the, like, this bottom, um, this bottom room into, like, a store, pretty much, for the blacksmith. And so I'm gonna have, like, um, like, item frames and stuff like that, and then, like, you know, places to display some weapons. And I got a little, you know, counter here. And then leading up to here, we have, um, like, where the blacksmith is pretty much going to sleep. Like, this is gonna be his room. And then there's, this is pretty much going to be like storage for like swords and stuff like that. And then the uh, then the next building here is the farmer's house. Um, I got you know a little farm here of wheat. Um, and then we you know just have a, an interesting look to this uh, to this farmer's house. You know as I said you know I'm trying to keep a a certain uh, you know a certain block palette pretty much with like you know spruce oak and then cobble and deep slate pretty much. Um, this one is a bit more bare bones than the other ones. I still have to do the do the interior of this place um but pretty much like uh i was kind of thinking of doing the same thing kind of having like a like a little store section of this house pretty much um not like to the extent of what the blacksmith is pretty much but just like a you know place that you know the villagers can interact with the farmer and pretty much and then you have like a probably a storage area and then the the farmers the farmers uh bedroom and then i have this thing laid out here that i was planning on uh making before i you know died in the uh died in another pretty much um this is pretty much going to be a market pretty much um like i like 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 everything that's like signified by cobble is pretty much gonna be like a a vendor pretty much so like th like these ones are just gonna be like regular vendors pretty much and then i was also planning on adding in a couple of like small stores into these corners so i thought it was a pretty good idea and i'm going to do that once i you know regain my regain my stuff and stuff like that all right and now since i've showed you pretty much everything that i've built so far in this world i'm going to show you where i'm eventually going to be building yeah this is the area that I plan on building in next and I, when I first saw this I was just like an incomplete awe pretty much um like this because this is just insane like uh this goes um like straight through uh this like I don't even know what you would call this I was I'm just going to be calling this like the the wall pretty much of the natural wall of the world pretty much like it goes straight through that and then all the way down uh into a an abandoned mine shaft pretty much like i thought this was just com just completely insane just the look of this yeah going through this uh this massive like hole hole of a cave pretty much this lot just goes on to lead to uh this area here um this huge just massive just like enclosed area and i thought this area just looks super super cool because it's completely it's basically completely enclosed by this massive just wall of this natural wall of the world pretty much but i and i thought this looks super super cool and i'm going to eventually uh build in this area um the idea that i had for this area was pretty much like maybe uh like some sort of kingdom or ruined kingdom maybe um i'm not entirely sure exactly what i'm gonna do yet but i'm but once we get to this area, I'm going to have like an idea completely laid out, basically. So yeah, so this is my Minecraft Bedrock world and everything that I've built in it so far. If you guys do want to see me continue playing in this world and building and all that stuff, just remember to go down and leave a like. You can also go down and subscribe to those post notifications. You can also go down in the comment section and leave any likes or dislikes you have the video. Alrighty, see you guys in the next video. Alrighty, bye bye